Thank you for joining this Property Tribes TV interview and I am delighted to be joined by Stephen Johnson, MD of Shawbrook Bank. So welcome again Stephen. Hello. I think this is a great time to catch up with you because in 2014 the market's really hotting up and this is when your short-term lending products can really give an investor a competitive advantage. No, absolutely. 2013 I think was a watershed year, you know, the buy to let and the professional investor market really did get going. It's kind of the only area of the mortgage market that's actually growing. Um, and I think with the MMR on the agenda mm -hmm. for home ownership, I think it's going to continue to be difficult um, for people to buy um, due to pricing and also the mortgage availability. I don't see that changing. So I think that's going to continue to make it difficult for buyers. Um, and you know, there's still good demand out there from landlords who believe in the asset class and believe in the returns. So yeah, I think that's going to continue. Um, and with that, I think people are already seeing you've got to move very quickly mm. to secure some of these transactions. And a traditional buy-to-let mortgage sometimes just isn't going to cut it. So you know, we've been quite active in the short-term loan market. We've processed over half a billion of that in the last two years. And uh, it's really enabled investors to move quickly and grab those opportunities in the market. Because I think typically before your, your typical sort of um, buy to let landlord perhaps was a little bit shy of bridging. It was more the province of the experienced investor mm -hmm. or trader. Yeah. Are you seeing um, short term lending kind of opening up to be adopted more by the smaller landlord investor? Yeah, I think we are. I think it's being recognised as much more of a mainstream product. Um, you know, we're a regulated bank. You know, there are many providers in the market that are equally authorised. Um, and for ourselves, we offer a mortgage at the end of the short term. Mm. So, you know, we can help that investor get in, close the deal, but then offer them sort of that three, four, five year mortgage at the end of it. And my one sort of comment to investors would be, you know, you just need to make sure you've got that covered off. Make sure mm -hmm. that you know, you're comfortable that you can refinance a short term loan because it's great for getting in there and securing the opportunity. But, you know, it is a short term loan. It mm -hmm. should be for that period and not, not any longer. Absolutely. Uh, that's important message. Now one strategy that I'm interested in is to buy a property that's unmortgageable and it could be unmortgageable for a number of reasons, the most common being that it doesn't have a kitchen or bathroom mm -hmm. or it might have other issues with it such as a short lease or something of that nature. Yeah. So one useful application of bridging finance is to buy an unmortgageable property mm -hmm. on the bridge and then what happens next? Sure. So we see this quite, it's quite a common application. Um, many clients would have a model that have a kitchen and bathroom that have a plan for that property that go in that execute it quickly, six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and then that have, you know, created a significant amount of uplift. Valuers tend to be very cautious around values of properties that are mortgageable. So you can see a quick uplift. Um, one of the other benefits of ourselves is we can provide a flip into a mortgage quite quickly. Mm -hmm. Now, mainstream mortgages, normally you need a six-month period before you can get into a mortgage. So if you're taking on a mortgageable property, you can turn it around in eight weeks. Mm -hmm. You've still got another four months before you can remortgage, mm -hmm. and that could be quite expensive. So um, with someone like ourselves, we can provide a quicker exit than that six months. Mm. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a well-worn strategy, and like many of your, you know, one of your members would know, you make your money on the way in. Mm -hmm. So buying at the right price, buying quickly, you know, tends to be the way when you create most value in your portfolio. So it's a, it's a, it's a valuable tool um, and you know, we're helping investors really create a lot of that value. We've seen um, clients who may have done sort of bigger development schemes in the past, sort of quite attracted to shorter term projects, quick sort of tart and turn type work where a, you can move in quite quickly, add some space, add a loft, a side extension, not go through necessarily a really rigorous planning process because it can be a bit quicker. And again, the nature of the works can be achieved quite quickly mm -hmm. and you're back into the market and you haven't got that sort of long duration where you're running the sales risk on a project. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it helps, um, it helps a lot of the investors and the traders turn their money quick mm -hmm. and get onto the next project. So, so, in, so that's got a light refurb, heavy refurb market, not full development finance, but that's become kind of increasingly active um, as, you know, as a lot of the professionals out there are looking to take advantage of, um, you know, of, of the market and the sentiment. And many people don't want to buy a property they need to do any work to. They're lazy like me. Mm. So they'd <laughs> like to buy a property that's finished and, uh, and that's proven to be very successful for many. So just to round this up then, Stephen, um, the typical landlord watching this perhaps has five to 10 properties. Perhaps they've shied away from bridging before in the past. Mm -hmm. Would you say that bridging is a great tool for any landlord to have in their toolbox and to learn to understand the situations when it can be used to advantage? Yeah, no, I would. I think it's, um, I think it's a very sensible product used in the right circumstance. I think it's, it's valuable for professional investors that need to move quickly or people that would like to see some, some benefit from refurbishing 
establishment and some value creation. Um, mm -hmm. Just needs to be used sensibly, and investors you need to go in balanced, knowing that they have a refinance and an exit in place. Mm -hmm. Because no one should be using a short-term loan for anything other than its intended purpose, which is in a short period. So um, that was my only one caveat. Um, make sure you've got your exit plan. But if you have, you know it can be a really valuable way of financing projects. Thank you.